an ordinary trip, but the four sisters invited to death. On the seventh day after that, one of the girls was run over by a car and died instantly. Ten days later another body was found in the subway. Then a month later, the remaining two girls fell off a cliff at the same time. But thankfully, they did not die instantly. One became a vegetable, while the other survived intact. Is it all man-made, or are they cursed? Only Satoko, the only survivor, knows. In order to revive Ryoko, who was in a coma, Satoko puts all her hopes in one person. After waiting for two months, finally, she saw him again, Black Jack. In fact, the reason why Satoko trusts Black Jack so much, it came from an encounter six months ago. That day, she was unfortunately scraped by a sharp object on her forehead. If a normal doctor had treated it, would have left a scar, but thanks to Black Jack's excellent medical skills, the wound on her forehead was as good as new. Satoko wanted Black Jack to save her best friend, Ryoko. Early the next morning, they went to the hospital. This is the largest general hospital in the city, Tokyo. The director of the hospital's director and Ryoko's attending physician, is a playboy who only has fun. After learning that someone had broken into Ryoko's hospital room, he rushed to the hospital. It turns out that during the time Tokyo was drinking and having fun, Black Jack had given Ryoko a full body checkup. Then Black Jack found some false and forged information in the medical records. And after seeing this information, on the spot, Black Jack proposed a high cost of 50 million yuan for the operation, which was borne by the hospital. Tokyo was going to resist, but when he thought about the consequences of the information being made public, he had to stop. But in order to stop Black Jack, he still said in a deep voice, Ryoko's nerve cells in her brain have been completely destroyed. Even if the gods came, they couldn't save her. In fact, Black Jack already knew these things. He had two experiences of reviving a vegetable. He couldn't bear to see a 16-year-old girl wither away. Seeing Black Jack's attitude made Satoko, who had been depressed, happy. She rushed into Black Jack's arms happily. Then they went to the amusement park together. During their time together, Black Jack learns that, Satoko, the four sisters, they all went to one of the best schools in the city. All the students in this school have very rich families. None of them had time to manage their children. After the fun is over, Satoko returned to her home. Compared to the smiling face she had before, she looked like a different person at the moment. Extremely strange. And the room was filled with a strange plant. She was trembling all over, crawling towards a cactus-like plant. Even though it was covered with thorns, she cupped her hands on it with great pleasure. The moment the thorns entered her palm, her whole body felt as if she had received some kind of soothing, relaxed completely. Meanwhile, Black Jack had an old friend in his room. This man is a police officer in charge of investigating illegal drugs. He came here to ask Black Jack only one question. Was the decision to operate on Ryoko your own will or was it a request from the hospital? After receiving Black Jack's answer, the man left with a satisfied smile. The next day, when news of Black Jack's decision to operate spread throughout the hospital, the doctors of the hospital came to the director. In fact, they all knew Black Jack's reputation, so they all wanted to be part of this operation. Soon after the surgery started, Satoko also appeared at the door of the operating room. But as the operation continued, her body became abnormal again. Then she fainted on the ground. It was an almost impossible operation. The patient was diagnosed by numerous experts to be in a coma for life. But in Black Jack's opinion, it wasn't so absolute. All that was needed was to remove the blood clots that were compressing nerve cells in the brain. The patient could be reawakened. It's easy to say but hard to do. Many medical experts came to see him, just to see the fabled medical genius superior medical skills. Even Tokyo, who doesn't like medicine that much, turned on the monitor. He watched Black Jack's every move on the screen. As he watched the operation intently, a man suddenly walked into the room. The man was a police officer who was falsely claiming to be Black Jack's agent. Apparently he came here with some kind of purpose, but Tokyo didn't bother with him. He quickly blew him away. On the other hand, Satoko, after being unconscious for an unknown period of time, finally woke up. She stared blankly at the door of the operating room. She could only pray in silence. Early the next morning, after more than 10 hours, the operation was finally successful. Everyone applauded Black Jack. But Black Jack was lying weak on the hospital bed. He fell asleep. After the surgery, 
Tokio drove to the beach, and the police officer followed him all the way here. It turns out that the police suspect Tokio to be in collusion with a multinational drug cartel, but they couldn't find any evidence, so they investigated secretly. Ryoko on the other hand, woke up after a few days of recovery, but she seems to be mentally disturbed. It was clearly summer, but she asked Satoko if she was shivering from the cold. These words made Black Jack think of Satoko instantly. Satoko hadn't come here once since Ryoko woke up. Something must have gone wrong. After leaving the hospital, Black Jack quickly arrived at Satoko's dormitory. The moment he pushed the door open, he saw Satoko's body trembling and frantically eating flowers. He immediately decided that it was a symptom of poisoning and hallucination. Black Jack held Satoko in his arms. At that moment, he had only one thought in his mind. He couldn't let a young girl of 16 years old sink into this. Then he took the cactus-like plant. He found his police officer friend. It turned out to be a kind of cactus from South America, called Happy Paradise. These plants can cause strong hallucinations if they are pricked during the flowering period. So it was made into a drug by a mysterious organization. At that time, the four sisters happened to meet the plant during its flowering season. After experiencing the dreamy hallucination, the four of them returned home with a large number of cacti. And that's how tragedy came about. Black Jack didn't think it was an accident. It was intentional murder. This plant is unique to South America. Why is it here? Was it the work of a mysterious organization? Questions about Black Jack. The police did not answer. Based on recent tracking results, Tokio was a strong suspect. Shortly afterwards Black Jack returned to the hospital. Coincidentally, he happened to run into Tokio injecting drugs. This scene made Black Jack understand everything instantly. It turns out that the land where the cactus was planted, Tokio was the one who provided it to the criminal organization. After learning that the four sisters broke into the garden by mistake and took the cactus away, the mysterious organization started the assassination operation. Tokio also regularly injects drugs into the unconscious Ryoko, not to let her wake up. From Tokio's expression, it is easy to see. Black Jack's suspicions were correct. But the next moment the door of the room suddenly opened, then a group of mysterious people suddenly appeared. They surrounded Tokio. From what they said, the crime syndicate had decided to leave the country. They then knocked Black Jack and Tokio unconscious, and injected drugs into Black Jack's system. As a fire started, they decided to burn all the cacti and the people who knew the secret. After the mysterious group left, Black Jack, who was in a state of extreme euphoria was in a state of complete delusion. His subconscious mind was telling him. He couldn't die like that. He sat up with great difficulty. He took out a pair of scissors from his pocket. He stabbed himself in the thigh again and again, trying to clear his mind. After finally regaining some sanity, he dragged Tokio, who was deluded by the hallucination. He escaped the fire at the last moment of the bomb explosion. After that, Black Jack handed Tokio over to the police. He said goodbye to Satoko at the airport on crutches. If you also like, help give a compliment. See you in the next video.